What's up, YouTube? Top City 5401 here. And I figure I'd share a recap on what I purchased at the card show. Plus, I got a couple of eBay pickups. Had a blast at the show. Ran into a bunch of YouTubers. My son went with me. That was awesome. He hung out for about half the day, and the show was at a mall, so he went and shopped at the mall the other half of the day. And he got to meet a few YouTubers and had a great time. Um, so I'm going to get started. I'll show you guys what I picked up. First of all, yes, I don't pick up a lot of slab cards. But I saw this sitting in a discounted slab box. It's a 1989 Donruss Ken Griffey Jr. and a PSA 9. And I couldn't resist. I had to buy it. Why? I got probably 20 copies of this card, but none of them are crispy. This one is crispy. These cards are very, very condition sensitive. 20 bucks. I figured 20 bucks, what the heck? Can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong for 20 bucks on that card. And by the way, everything that I'm going to show you guys, I spent approximately $450 on all the cards at the show. So I think I did pretty well. So the second card I'm going to show off is this 1999 Metal Universe. And this is the Planet Metal Derek Jeter card. Love that 90s shine die cut. Really cool card there. And this card, really thrilled to add this into my collection. As you guys know, I do collect Ken Griffey Jr. This card is a beaut. 1996 Studio Silver. And this card is back back in the day they didn't individually serial number these cards but this is one of 100 copies of the silver and these were only available in magazine packs very tough pulls super thrilled to add this card into my collection a, a griffey from 1996 with a print run of 100 guys let me tell you you don't find that every day and here's something that's even rarer a 2001 Albert Pujols. This is a rookie year card. Some might consider it a rookie card. It's a bat relic and it is numbered, hand numbered out of 35. This is the gold parallel. And this is from SP uh, Game Bat. And this is the International Collection. Hand numbered to 35. Rookie year card, Albert Pujols. An unbelievably awesome card. I am Super thrilled to add that one into the collection. And then what else do I have here? This card here, I paid the most out of everything that I bought. I paid the most for this card. However, it doesn't. it's not the most valuable card, but I paid more for it than any other card. It's an absolute beaut. This is a, I think it's, a, yeah, 1999 Fleur Ultra Diamond Producers, Derek Jeter. What's beautiful about this card is it's die cut, it's acetate, it's embossed, and it has that cracked ice shine to it. So there are a lot of things going for this card. Fantastic card. This set has really grown on me. And super thrilled to add that one into the collection. Then I got a 1999 Pacific Invincible. This is a Ken Griffey Jr. This is from an insert set, Cooperstown Bound. Really nice card there. A lot of these are tough pulls. I went into the uh, standard catalog of baseball cards and checked some of the odds on some of these cards I picked up. And this one, I think it was like 1 in 350 packs or something like that. I mean, really tough odds. And here's a Bonds card I didn't have. I found it in a $5 box. It's a manufactured patch from... What is it? Uh, sweet Spot Patches. It's not It's not a game use patch. It's manufactured. But cool card. Nice addition to the Bonds collection. And then we got uh, this really cool Skybox Thunder. I believe it's 1999 of A-Rod. And it is the Hypnotized insert. Really nice card there. And this is a cool one. This is a Pedro Martinez, 1999 Finest Refractor. Cool card there. Older Refractor of 
Pedro. This card, I, I couldn't, I, I, I had to buy it, and I'm really glad I bought it. I believe it's a Gabe Kapler rookie card. I could be wrong, but it's a 1999 Bowman's Best Atomic Refractor of Gabe Kapler. Many of you know that he won Manager of the Year, managing the 2021 San Francisco Giants. And this card is numbered 47 out of 100. Great looking card, beautiful card. Fun to have uh, the Giants manager's rookie card when he was a player. And then here's a classic from 1999 Bowman's Best. This is a Sammy Sosa franchise best. This is the regular refractor. There's like three versions of this card. This is the middle one in the rainbow. So that's a cool card there. And then I'm going to finish out the Bonds cards. Let me find them here. Then I'll show you guys real quick everything else I picked up. But I, so this is a, a great story. So I was wandering around and one of the guys here in the Bay Area named Jim, I see him at a lot of the local shows and he, he came up to me and he's like, why don't you step into my office? I want to talk to you real quick. I was like, okay, we were kind of BSing a little bit. And he had this st stack of three cards in a rubber band and I saw the top card and my first thought was, okay, where's he going with this? And he's like, Okay, I don't know if you know about these, but they're really rare. <laughs> I looked at him and I said, don't tell me those are the superstar samplers. And he said, yep. And it just so happens, and in 1994, these came from factory sets. There were like 20 or 30 players so uh, that they would put what they call a superstar sampler in the factory set. And so you would get... A Finest, a Bowman, and a Stadium Club. And these were, and the, and the back of them have a little stamp. So like on the Finest in red, it says right here, you can see it, Superstar Sampler. So it's not from the regular Finest product. This one has this stamp real small, the Stadium Club. You can see it right there. Let's see if I can. But there we go. And then the Bowman also superstar sampler stamp so these did come from flagship factory sets and um you would get one player three superstar samplers super thrilled to add these i've been wanting these in my collection forever and i'm glad i waited because in general they're overpriced and i i got a very fair price on them so jim if you're watching thank you i really appreciate you thinking of me and approaching me and uh, selling those cards to me. So they went to a happy home. So here we go. I'm just going to kind of fire through the rest of this. This is end up being a long video. <laughs> Can't say no to a Dollar Bonds rookie card. Found a Raul Mondesi, 1999, I believe. This is the Pacific Paramount. This is the Platinum Blue. Got a Dave Justice, 1999 uh this is the Thunder, Circa Skybox Thunder, and this is the Super Rave, number 25. That's a cool card. Nice A-Rod Relic. Look at that shine. Got the Altuve Rookie. Got a Roberto Clemente, Allen and Ginter Mini back. Really cool card there. I was thinking of Mike O when I picked this card up. It is a Topps 3D of Mike Trout. Very cool looking card there. Another Mike Trout, a Prism Green. This one's numbered to 125. A Frank Thomas Leaf Rookie. You can never have enough of these. I got the Billy Ripken F face card, but it is the scribble, not the black box, but the scribble. When you look at the knob of the bat, there was a print run where they scribbled it out. So this one's tough to find, much rarer than the, the F face error or the black box. Picked up a Mo Rivera Blue Refractor from Finest. This pink um, refractor, whatever you want to call it, prism, shine, thing of McGuire. <laughs> I don't know what to call that card. Um, moving along, got a, got a bunch of binder cards. I'll just kind of, you know, like Otani and Trout. And Actually, yes, I'm a Giants fan, but I had to pick up the Will Smith. A uh, rookie card. That guy's a great catcher. Don't sleep on him. Many of you guys remember Cody Ross from the 2010 Giants. Well, I picked up his refractor rookie card. 
Got to pick up, got to collect those 2010 Giants. Some nice posies from Panini. Very cool Nelson Cruz card. David Price rookie. Uh, let's see. I couldn't resist a Bonds Tops Gold for a dollar. Uh, some Clayton Kershaw shine. Look at that shine. Nice uh, pink Crawford. And then a couple of uh, what could have been if Tops was around. We got Ruth and DiMaggio. This Boys in the Wood McGuire. This really cool Stadium Club Trout. Uh, Marco Luciano. Bowman Chrome. Hopefully he can uh, have an impact for the Giants in the near future. And then I got the local kid, um, Spencer Torkelson. You guys watch my channel. You know that he's the same age, age as my son. He's local to my area. My son played against him when they were kids. Got a Hunter Pence rookie card that I did not have. Hit it over the fence, Pence. And then... Nice Vlad Jr. Refractor. And then what up, Eric? Oakland A's 915. I got the Sean Murphy, Bowman Blue. Eric has been talking about this guy a lot. So, man, and he did have a great year. Uh, a couple of really nice refractors of Roy Halladay and um, Trevor Hoffman. Really nice refractors there. Got this really cool Aaron Judge. Number to 99, and last but not least, a Trey Turner rookie card. So those are the pickups from the show, don't you know? And then a couple of eBay pickups I'll throw in this video. This card's unbelievable. 2002 Patchworks. Look at that Bonds patch. Also has Sosa and Reggie Jackson, and it says on the back, this card contains... A piece of patch from an authentic game-worn jersey worn by Barry Bonds. So that's awesome. Love that kind of authentication. Can never go wrong. And then the last but not least, eBay pickup. 1999, I think. No, 2000. Upper Deck MVP Gold Script. Number to 100, Barry Bonds. So that's it, guys. Had a great time at the show. Want to give, Also want to give out a shout-out to A's fan Jim. Hung out with him for a while. We had a good time. Jim, comment down below. Let me know if you bought that card we were talking about. And thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And as always, until next time, I'll go out with these three beauties right here. Woo! Man, these cards fire me up. Happy collecting!